Hey, look out, everybody. He's backing up. Backing up. All right. Having a little fun. I had to look up the truck backing up sound on YouTube with my Braille Sense 6. And that brings us to our topic of today. That is backing up. Yay. Okay, let's get out of that. <laughs> uh, let's see here. How come I won't go out of it now? There we go. Um, so a lot of you are doing the upgrade from the Polaris to the Braille Sense 6. Good for you. I'm doing the same. I don't have my personal Braille Sense 6, but I do have one of the company's units to use. Um, I uh, was pushed down to the bottom of the list because I'm a HIMSS employee. How do you like that for dedication to the customers? Uh, but one of the things that our technical support staff asked us to do very fervently <laughs> is to stress the importance of backing up your data before you send your Polaris in for the transplantation of your Braille cells into the new Braille Sense 6. And that is actually very wise advice. Not a lot to do in this regard. Um, it's actually not very complicated at all. Um, there are a couple backup options. Unfortunately, there is no way to just clone the whole thing um, and then bring it up onto the uh, Braille Sense 6 and away you go. No, no, no. We've got a brand new operating system, um, new and updated applications on the Android side, and there's just a zillion reasons why this cannot be done. However, the stuff that you care about is the stuff that you created in your notepad or your word processor your database, your email, so forth. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into a couple of things. Um, first of all, let's start out with turning on my speech here and turning up the volume just a little bit here. Boost the volume there. And um, word processor W. let's go down into... Our, I believe it's down in our settings. Set time and date, T. I just, from the main menu, press the letter S to set uh, mm -hmm. time and date is what appears at the top of my list of settings. And I'm just going to go ahead and um, go down to the bottom with space 4, 5, 6. Android system settings, E. Because I know that down towards the bottom here, Android backup reset, R. We've got an Android backup reset that will not do any good in regard to um, saving a backup in, in the hopes of putting it on your Braille Sense 6. So let's not bother with that. Braille Sense Global Options, O. There's Braille Sense Global Options. Language Profiles, L. Voice Options, V. And keep I'm, I just keep pressing space with dot one to move up. Initialize Braille Sense Options, C. Password Protection, A. Quick Start Guide, Q. Change Device Name, D. Backup restore Braille Sense settings, K. And I hear that the hot key is the letter K, so I could have just pressed the letter K and got into this menu. Selected global options, one, 15 list item. And we've got 15 items in here that we can back up. Now, I'm going to tell you that personally, none of this matters to me because there isn't anything here that I can't get back on my Braille Sense 6. In fact, I think I'd rather prefer having a clean start with the Braille Sense 6 and not worrying about my... my uh, backup settings as far as um, the braille sense goes i'm going to uh, just basically space dot forward down through this list file manager options 215 list item and we've got all kinds of options in here selected word processor options 315 list item selected notepad options 415 list item email options 515 list item Media player options, 615 list, radio options, 715 list, daisy player options, 815 list, address manager options, 915 list. So if you list care item. about your settings, they should transfer over from the Polaris to the Braille Sense 6. Schedule manager options, 1015 list item. Web browser options, 1115 list item. And for whatever reason, if they don't, it's no big deal because you can always go back in and set this again and then uh, do the backup on your new device. Google search options, 1215 list item. Excel viewer options, 1315 list item. So I'm just... Uh, down arrowing or pressing space with dot forward down through the list. But if I tab over F3, select all, enter A button. I can simply select all, select all, select all, enter A button. I've, I've done that. And if I tab again, back up, enter B. Button. So I've, I've selected all those things. And let's say I want to back up. Default path, flash disk database, combo box. Um, I, I see flash disk uh, database. I am on my Braille Sense 6, not the Polaris. 
here. So uh, this structure might look a little different to you, uh, but the concept is the same. I'm going to press backspace to move up one level. Cancel combo box. Change path combo box. Oh, change path is what I want to do. Uh, I'm going to press enter on that. Select backup folder dialog. Daisy folder one on list item. And now I'm going to press backspace. Flash disk one to list item. There's my flash disk. SD two to list item. There's my SD card. Let's say that I want to go ahead and back up to Alarms that. Alarm folder one twenty three list item. Okay, I'll, I'll down arrow space dot four. Android folder two twenty three Braille sense backup folder three. And there's my back, Braille sense backup folder. I'm going to press space on that. Selected Braille sense backup folder three twenty three list item. And I'm going to simply confirm button. Confirm. Backing up. And now it says it's backing up. And backup complete. Backup it is already complete settings. because those settings are really not that big. And again, with me, I really don't care. I'm not going to bother with any of those backups because to me, it's like a new car. You know, you get in the car, you adjust the rear view mirror and the seats, you know, the incline of the seats and the steering wheel and all that stuff. That's what I like in that too. Um, but the things that you care about, like I said before, is the stuff that you've created and, and, um, you know, let's say your emails and your uh, everything, your your word processor documents or your notepad documents. So let's go back File Manager. to the main menu. I pressed uh, F1. Go back to the main menu, and let's just say that I want to back up my documents Daisy folder. folder one list item. Uh, yeah, let's, let's do the Daisy folder. So as I'm down arrowing through this list, I'm going to press the space bar to make a selection. Select a Daisy folder one nine list item. Okay, and I've got nine items here. I'm just going to continue down. Database folder two nine list item. There's my database folder. That's on the um, the Braille Sense six. That is a new thing on the six. You don't you won't find that on your uh, Polaris, but that's okay because at this point I don't care about that stuff. Documents folder three nine list item. I do care about my documents, and that's by default where all my Notepad and Word processors documents live. Select the documents folder three nine list item. So I selected that. Download folder four nine list item. And I might care about my downloads too, so I'm going to press uh, space on that. Selected download fo email folder five nine list item. Uh, email, uh, yeah, okay. I mean, I really don't care because I use IMAP, and it's you know all my emails are sitting out on a server somewhere. Favorite folder six nine. So list I'm not going to select that. Music folder seven nine list item. Music. Static folder eight nine list item. Okay, so the sake of this demonstration, let's just say I want to. Copy all that to the clipboard. Enter C. Copying. Static folder eight nine list item. You see where I'm going with this, right? Flash disk one three list item. And I can really very simply SD two three list item. Come down to the SD um, card and and paste it there. But and I, I might want to do it in two places. They say if you care about something, you will back it up. Um, so yeah, I care about this. So that's me. Alarm folder one thirty three. Go ahead and paste that. Space V. Pasting. Zero folder download exists. Override yes prompt button. Um, yes to all prompt button. I'm going to say sure yes to all. 100 three objects copied. Download folder 835 list item. And it's already copied everything there. So like I said, if you care about something, you back it up. If you really care about something, you'll back it up twice. So I'm going to backspace to go back up to my list of drives. SD23 list item. And this time I'm going to go down. Google Drive 33 list item. To Google Drive. And backup folder 112 list item. There's one uh, folder called backup. And let's just say that I'm going to just uh, put it all here at the root level of my Google Drive. You can create folders, of course, in Google Drive, but for this demo, oh, button press enter to activate. Um, cancel. Here are uh, your uh, results for to Fred <laughs> for this demo. All right, so backup folder 112 list item. I said the G lady's name, and she is so responsive, annoyingly so. Um, I'm going to press enter with the letter V uploading. again, Zero. and now I'm uploading those things that I care about enough docs MRK, 100 no name docs MRK, 100 to back it up twice. 14, That's all there is to it, folks, so back it up, back it up, back it up. Week of June 14th, doc, doc, six, eight, 100 agenda city council meeting, title, one hour of truck, backing up sound B, YouTube, 564 list item, list one hour of truck. So with that, I will bid you fare thee well. Happy backing up.